Hi everyone, welcome to Everything Daphne. Today we are talking about something amazing once again. Uh, today we are speaking about God wants you healed, no more positive and well. God wants you well. Every day you wake up in the morning, or if anything comes and it's disturbing you, just always remind yourself that God wants me well. Okay, um, the background towards this comes from a place in, like in the Old Testament, very many verses in the Bible say, speak about how God stri strike this person, how God gave this person diseases. And so we come in into this generation um, and we have grown up from different religions and we are taught about like things like sicknesses, things like bad things that all, oh, that those things are caused by God. Disaster is brought by God because of that whole understanding from the Old Testament. And then we brought it towards the New Testament um, until Christ Jesus comes in and reveals to us the truth of who God is. Because Jesus is the image of the invisible father. No one has seen God but his son, Jesus Christ. So Jesus comes in and he shows us who God is, his true nature. Today we're going to read from Matthew chapter 9 verse 35. Sorry about that. I pressed the button without by mistake. Today we're going to read from Matthew 9 chapter 5. Matthew 9 chapter 35, sorry. Matthew 9 35. And Jesus went through out all the cities and villages cities you can think of kampala and villages you think of your village my village is kekubo uh teaching in their synagogues synagogues you can think of our different religion religions like teaching in those synagogues teaching in their in the, in the synagogues um and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction every disease and healing every affliction when he saw the crowds he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd then he said to his disciples the harvest is plentiful but the laborers are few therefore pray earnestly to the father of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest so Jesus Christ is the image of the invisible father. And like I told you before, we knew, we thought that God is a person who strikes people, who gives people diseases. But like we are saying that Jesus went around healing every disease, every disease. In every disease, we have HIV, we have cancer, we have flu, we have any affliction, every affliction everything that is uncomfortable every disease every disease jesus went on healing it every affliction i don't really know the meaning of affliction but yeah he went around healing everything like that and then when we go to matthew chapter 10 verse 1 and he called to him his his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every disease and every affliction my goodness guys oh god oh this makes me want to speak in the spirit in tongues really this is that nature this is the heart of god i am really not bush beating around the bush i'm really going straight to the point this is the heart of the father some of you take pleasure in ulcers some of you take pleasure in in allergies some of you take pleasure like oh they're my allergies or oh, they're my ulcers or oh, they're my thing my this my that my that but today i'm telling you that all those things jesus went around healing them and he gave his disciples and also now us who believe in him the authority to heal all those diseases every affliction every disease is gave jesus healed it and gave authority 
and 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 since Jesus is a real image of God, he cannot go against himself by giving anyone disease. Did you? Jesus did not give anyone disease. There is nowhere in the Bible where it's written that Jesus, because this person did this and this, Jesus gave them a disease. Jesus gave them a sickness. Rather, he healed them. He raised people from the dead, and that is the real nature of God. And so, whenever we see any affliction, any sickness, we refuse it. We stand on the word of God and refuse it and we believe that okay this is this is not God's will for me God's will for me is not to have flu flu comes in every your whole day is ruined your whole week is ruined God 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 wants you well okay then we go to James 5 14 today we're going to read a couple of many many verses uh which which if you want you can always save this download this video so that whenever any sickness comes you can remind yourself of these verses uh we're going to read from james chapter 5 verse 14 james chapter 5 verse 14 is anyone among you sick let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick and the Lord will raise him up. Nowadays, people anoint the sick, anoint the sick saying goodbye to them, like, by like by die like go and die and die peacefully no 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 that is not god's will the word of god is saying prayer of the faith will save the one who is sick the anointing is for you to be well the anointing is not for you to die well the anointing is for you to be healed the prayer of faith so we we even today we're going to pray over somebody generally it's like you need to be ready to heal, to pray over any sickness. You can even pray over yourself. You touch it. It's like, in the name of Jesus, I command you to leave. And your word is final and, and that's it. And it's done. You pray over somebody and your word is final and they are healed. And so there, there is a video I was watching by the Labrand family. Labrand family is an amazing family. I, I must confess that they make me so happy the way they do things. I am inspired. Um, yet there was a time where he, uh, what's his name, Cole. Cole is a very, very beautiful man. Very beautiful man with beautiful family. Um, he, he, there's a, a situation where some kid was, a, a, a certain child called Penelope was sick and he, he was praying to God to, to heal that child. It was like, God, please help, help us to help us so that child doesn't die. Please God, change your will. Please God. Like, it's like God, as if God is like one holding back from that child getting healed as if it's not God's will for that child to be healed, like begging God. And very many of you pray like that. Many of you be like, please God help us so that through this day may go well. Please God help us that we, we succeed in everything we are doing. Please God help us that this day that we have joy, peace and, 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 and happiness throughout this day. Forgetting that it is God's will for you to be happy, forgetting that it is God's will for you to be well. It, it is God, it was God's will for that child to be healed. But rather the prayer he was saying, uh, my, my amazing call, the prayer he was saying was very wrong. It, it, it was a prayer out of ignorance. And this is my way of loving, loving him. And this is my way of loving everyone who is listening that you can be praying out of ignorance. We have lost so many people out of ignorance just because they're like, please God, come and heal them. Please God. Jesus Christ, when he said it is finished 2,000 years ago, he made provision for all the healing that will ever be needed. He provided for everything that we shall ever need. And in this particular topic, we're talking about healing. He provided for healing. For that child, that child actually died, by the way. I checked, I ch I checked in the... I checked it out and I realized actually the child died, which was, that's how it is. Like God is spirit. And those who relate, you have to relate with him from a spiritual place. 
the spiritual place is, it is done. He has already provided for the healing. So when you pray from ignorance, he, he is there with you. You actually may feel, you know, so what's so funny is like when you're sick, you feel like God has left you. You feel like you're deserted. But the one thing that you, even at least of all things you should never forget is that God is with you. God is with you. And right now, me speaking to you is God's way speaking to you right now. To 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 you all to all it's God's way of providing for you about that sickness. It's God's way providing for your family in case they get sick. It's God's way providing for you in the future. Because sickness can always attack the body. Sickness will always attack, it will always try to attack the body. But this is God's way of providing. This is how God provides. I'm sorry you did not know, but now you know. And now you should know and you should change your mind. Repent about this and, and change your mind. Change your mind about this. Um, know that God has provided for every healing that you need in Jesus Christ. So it's no longer like, please God, come. It's you lay the hands. You lay your hands on that person and they have they will get healed it's you the healing is now through you that is how it works it's no longer like please god come please go change your mind god is number one is the number one fan is your number one fan god is the number one person who wants you well god is the number one person who wants um your loved ones well God wants you well more than even you want yourself to be well that's why you must know this truth right now Every time you find yourself sick, say number one thing, I am well. God wants me well. God wants me well. That's the one thing you should be convinced of right now. Of all things in this video, you should not forget that God wants you well. Confess it. Confess that God wants you, God wants you well. Okay, this is going to take us to First Peter. Uh, we can actually start with Isaiah 53 verse 5. There are so many verses, oh God, and I don't want this video to be long. Oh no, actually we can't even read Psalms. Let's see, Psalms 103, verse 2. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all, forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquity? Who heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from the pit? Who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy? Who satisfies you with good? so that your mouth is renewed like the eagles god this is an, this is another confirmation of god wanting you well heals you from all your diseases isaiah 53 verse 5 but he was pierced for our transgression he was crushed for our iniquities upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace and with his wounds we are healed this is a prophecy and now this is a prophecy fulfilled prophecy fulfilled is in first peter chapter 2 verse 24 prophecy fulfilled uh, la, 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 la. first peter chapter two. the spirit of god was speaking through peter at this point um okay so we are reading uh first peter chapter 2 verse 24 he himself bore our sins in his body on the tree that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. Have been healed. It's not you are going to get healed. It's like, it's even like if you use an example of forgiveness, it's not like you're going to be forgiven. You have already been forgiven even before you committed whatever. Even if, even in the future, before you commit any sin, you have already been forgiven. It's the same thing with healing. Before even you fall sick, you have already been healed. Even before you lay your hands on that person to get healed. In the spiritual, they have already been healed. And so you laying your hands upon that person, you are speaking healing that has already been provided. God is not... God is very proactive. He is not, this person is like, oh no, oh no, oh no, he's sick. Like, God is not shocked by your sickness. God is not shocked when you're sick. God already saw that you would fall sick and he made provision for that sickness, which is healing in Jesus Christ by the wounds of Jesus. You were healed. 
if sickness comes, you grab that watch like God wants me well. By the wounds of Jesus, I was healed. God wants this child well. By the wounds of Jesus, he was healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed. You speak healing. That is God's will for you. Uh -huh. So let's go to Third John chapter 1 verse 2. Third John chapter 1 verse 2. We're almost finishing. Third John chapter 1 verse 2. Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you. And that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. Paul, I mean, John is speaking. Another inspiration of the Holy Spirit that I pray that all may go well with you. Um, all may go well with you. Every day, God wants you well. Like from January to December, God wants you well every single day in your body. Good health. God wants good health for you. God wants you to be healthy so that you can go on with your normal day and work and get the money you need to take care of your family, to take care of yourself, to take care of the world. But imagine like you are sick how will you even think of others? How will you even provide for others if you're sick? God wants you well. Um, and also God wants you well in your soul. One thing you should also know is like God wants you well. Depression, um, anxiety, fear, all those things. God doesn't, that's not God's will for you. That is the flesh. And we live by the spirit. In the spirit, God wants you well. God has made provision for you to be well in the spirit. Depression is not your portion. In the name of Jesus, I speak to everyone who is listening to me. I speak against the spirit of depression. I cast you out out in the name of Jesus. I destroy you. I crush you in the name of Jesus. You are nothing depression you are nothing you are nothing in the name of jesus okay so god wants you well depression is not your portion depression is not the will of god for you the will of god for you is to be well in your mind to have peace to have joy to be to have goodness to have faithfulness to have humility the will of god is for you to be well even in your soul so man is body, soul, and spirit. In your spirit, that's where God lives. That's your new spirit. That's where God is. So in your spirit, everything is well. However, the body and the soul, every now and then, can be attacked by sickness. A soul can be attacked by depression, can be attacked by anxiety, can be attacked by fear. But those things, God wants you well from those things. Okay, so we go to... I think we're almost finishing... Oh yeah, so we have the last three verses. Luke 4, 18. Luke 4, 18. Oh man, where are you? Luke 4, 18. Okay. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. Are you oppressed by sickness? Today I set you free. I set you free in the name of Jesus. Today you will be set free. Today you will be set free. Mm -hmm. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And he rolled up the scroll and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, Today, this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. You've been struggling with sickness. You've been being oppressed with sickness. You've been being oppressed with op depression. You've been being oppressed with anxieties. Being being oppressed by all those addictions today that this scripture has been fulfilled at your hearing if you hear me and you believe what i've said you will be healed okay so we got to look luke 6 verse 19 
Luke 6 verse 19. Luke 6 verse 19. And all the crowd so to touch him for power came out from him and healed them all. Healed them all. Healed them all. There is nothing like a special disease. In the eyes of God, all, all is all. Healing is real for you. Um, if you believe my report today, you will be healed. Um, healing, yeah, that, that's, let me stop, let me stop at that. Then Romans, Romans 8, 11. Romans 8, 11. I think, yeah, this is, this is our last verse. Our last verse. Oh man, I just need, I need to take time and read, I read Luke 4, 18, because God showed me some amazing revelations out of it. I need to take time and read it and then I can make maybe make something out of it. Luke 8. No, Romans 8. Where is Romans? Romans 8. Okay. Romans 8, 11. If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Sometimes you you may speak the word of God and immediately the body doesn't respond. But the one thing that you should know that the spirit of God who raises us from the dead is in you. And if that spirit of God who raises us from the dead is in you, then he will give life to your mortal bodies. And so you, in other words, you have to recognize that the spirit of God who raises from the dead is in me. You can even pray in tongues about it. So like you pray in tongues until you get, until you recover. You can pray in tongues until you recover and you will see your deliverance. You'll see your healing, which is already done in the spirit, but you can eventually see it manifesting. Finally, mm, some of you also struggle with like your body weight. Some of you might be like small and you struggle with the fact that you're small. And some of you might be big and you struggle with the fact that you're, you're big. And, and you're trying all your, by all measures to, to come out of it. And whenever I look at you, I'm like, wow, this is such a toxic thing. I don't even know what, what to tell you. But this is what I can tell you is that God's will for you is to be also well, like literally to be comfortable in your own skin, to be comfortable in your color, to be comfortable in your size, to be comfortable in where, like where you come from. Like that's God's will for you to be well and comfortable and proud of everything you have. And so you can also, you have to also involve God into that. You can see that God has already provided for you in Jesus Christ about that. Like I told you earlier, like God is not shocked by what happens to you. Before it even happens to you, he had already seen it. So he made a way for you in Jesus Christ about that situation. So if you see it, if, you, if you're struggling with like weight, struggling with what, whatever, whatever weight, whether big or small, you just have to remember that God wants me well. God wants me well. And so you stand by that and you can even pray about it in tongues and trust in God about it and trust in God about it because he too wants you well and it's his will for you. God wants whatever you want. He wants it. He even has more for you than if actually you can even think or imagine. You are amazing. Thank you for watching. Um, Feel free to subscribe, like, what else? Share. Um, on the subscription, on the su subscribe button, like it's like a bell. You can click on it and then you can see all. You can click on the all so that every time I share, you can be notified automatically without me having to first share again. You can be notified and you can always listen to me and listen to the word of God. And yeah, I think for now, we, we are basically talking about the word of God. You never know what else may come but i think basically it's a word of god and it's 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 life it's amazing uh thank you jesus thank you god thank you holy spirit you are blessed and thank you for listening